Hello everybody, it's still morning, so good morning or good afternoon. Um, today I'm gonna talk to you about, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hot today, so I'm gonna give you an update with that. Uh, I just wanna let you know, please check out my last update about, you know, subscribing and all that, so. As you all know that um, it's gonna be very hot this, this week. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be hot today, tomorrow, Friday. Um, Quick advice, I advise you all to drink lots of water, stay in the air conditioner, uh, do not go anywhere unless you want to sweat to death. Um, I advise you to keep your air conditioner on full blast at all times. Um, there is a technical difficulty that we could lose power during during the heat wave. It's not really a heat wave, but you could lose power when it's really, really hot. Uh, do not mow the grass in this type of weather because you will be sweating to death. Uh, I advise you to mow the grass when it's like really cool out or maybe... I don't know, maybe 70 degrees or 75 degrees, uh, no higher than 80 or 90. Um, please, please keep your dogs fed and keep them hydrated because dogs sweat more than people. So we need to keep that under control. Um, if anybody has any pets or fish or cats or whatever, please make sure they're fed and hydrated too. If anybody goes in a car, uh, make sure the air conditioner is on. Make sure, make sure your car is not that hot. Uh, make sure you start your car and keep it running. Keep the air conditioner going. Uh, if you have little kids or a nine-year-old or a one-year-old, uh, do not leave them in a hot car because they'll be sweating to death. And please make sure your kids, nine-year-olds, and one-year-olds have water. Please make sure everybody out there has water. Ice cream's okay, but I advise you to drink lots of water a day. Um, <clears throat> make sure your little sisters or brother have water too. Doesn't matter how old they are. One-year-olds, two-year-olds can drink water as well. If you feel like your house has no air conditioner and you have nowhere to go, go to your nearest hotel. Or if you're, you have somebody in the fire department, like a family member or a friend, and they have AC, please go to them and they'll keep you cool. Or go to a nearest hotel if you feel like you're, uh, if you feel like you're, um, you're, you have no AC in your house. If you live in an apartment and your apartment has no AC, evacuate that and go to a nearest hotel. As I said before, nearest fire department, or if anybody is in the police department or a police academy, or they're in the police department. As I said before, and they want you, and they you need to stay cool. Go to your nearest police department. Because if you have somebody, family there, you can go there and keep cool. Now, if you live in a condo and it's like really hot in there, you have no AC. As I said before, go to your nearest hotel, go to your nearest police department, go to your nearest fire department. If you, if you have a family member that's, you have a family member that works in a hospital and you have, you have to keep cool. Go to the hospital, they have central air too, but don't go in the ICU, stay in the lobby. So that's what I wanna put out there. Please be careful of going to the beach. There are sharks in the water, crabs, jellyfish, and they will sting you or hurt you, and I don't want any of that to happen. Because on the news, there was jelly, they were talking about things that were in the water, scared a lot of crap out of people, it scared the crap out of me because when I seen it on the news, people people have not went to the beach in a long time. I go to the beach, but now I'm hearing about sharks. I stay away from the beach. I go in the pool because there's no animals in the water because we don't need that. Now, I want to talk to you guys about fire alarms and fire drills and pull stations and pretty much all devices. So let's start out with the pull stations. Um, I have fire alarms in my collection. I have the Firelight BG-12. I have the Firelight BG-12 LX. I'm gonna tell you where I, I got that one. Actually, no, I'm not gonna tell you because I like to keep that information private. I do have a Firelight BG-10 pull station. Now, let's go over the devices, the horn strobes and the speaker strobes heat detectors, sensors, whatever you have in your collection and what I have in my collection. I do have a heat detector. I don't know if it works. I don't know if it's brand new. 
and I have no idea where it came. I don't. I have no idea where the building where where it came out. What building? Where it came from? I have no idea. Now for the speaker strobes, I have the EST Genesis speaker strobes. Um, I got two of them. Um, <clears throat> I got a ceiling mount speaker strobe, and I have a system sensor P two R speaker strobe. I don't know if. <laughs> If the P2R is new or old, I don't know if the Genesis are new or old, but I do have the red one. The red one is broken, so it, it, I opened it up and the switch fell out of it and, you know, wires are bad and all that. But the, I have a new speaker strobe that's brand new out of the box. It's white. I haven't used it yet, so it looks brand new. I can't wait to test it one day. Yeah. Now. I don't know how to wire any fire alarm devices up to a pole station. So if you guys want to help me out with that, you want to show me how to hook up a fire alarm to a pole station or to an annunciator, I don't have a fire alarm panel because they're too much money. They're like over $1,000 of poor limit. And there's no point of having a fire alarm panel. You can actually hook up your devices without a panel, which is very easy to do. Hook it up to a light switch, hook it up to a battery battery thing or just get a power source use one of your old plugs turn it into a fire alarm device or just plug your fire alarm in the wall and then it should go off or anything like that so if anybody wants to show me how to hook up a fire alarm to a pole station please leave a compliment below please send me the link below to your video and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can but please be safe out there stay hydrated drink lots of water remember what i said go to your nearest hotel go to your nearest police department go to your nearest fire department because you don't know what's going to happen in the heat. And <clears throat> I don't want anybody to faint. I don't want anybody to pass out. I don't want anybody to sweat as much as we think. But please, stay in your air conditioner. Okay? Do not touch any fire alarm devices in buildings. Do not touch any fire alarm devices in hotels. Do not touch any fire alarm devices in hospitals, police departments, and fire departments. Those are for commercial use only. That means the people that work in the building can do that. If you have fire alarms that you collect from eBay or Amazon, that's a different story because they're not hooked up to a system. So please stay hydrated. Have a good night, everyone. Please subscribe. Please compliment. Have a good day. And I'll try to have fire alarm videos by the end of the summer. I will have a lot of snow blowing videos this winter, and I'll try to have a lot of springtime videos. I'll try to have a mowing grass video. I did get a new lawnmower, but I will video that um, maybe next week or the week or two. I don't know. It's a Craftsman lawnmower with a Honda engine, so I'm going to give you that update as fast as I can. So be safe. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. If you have any questions, comment below. And please, I really, I really need to, I really need you guys to show me how to hook up a fire alarm to a pole station. It's like, you know, basically... Anyway, have a good day. Stay smart. Stay safe. Good luck back to school. Good luck back to college, wherever the hell you're going. And uh, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Peace.